Well, hey, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to be working on the excavator. Uh, while I'm in the summertime, I've got an area that stays really bad in the winter with a lot of water running through it. So I'm going to work on doing a ditch to fix it where the water will run through and not get everything else so muddy. So come on, guys. Let's go get busy. So yesterday afternoon, I took care of getting this bush hauled and getting all this cleaned up so I could see what I'm working on. And if you look up, all of the water that comes out of the upper pastures works its way down. And let me show you up here where the big problem happens. So as you can see, there, there's a, it's a, a small ditch, but it's a ditch. And the water runs through this, even though it's got all the weeds in it, it still runs through this pretty well. But right up in here, it's like the ditch stops and this is all flat. And so what happens is as this water comes down, it just kind of hits like a little wall and it goes everywhere. And all of this right here just turns into a great big swamp. So what I want to do is I want to drop this down and I also want to V it to where we can take all of this water, bring it to a point that it'll hit the ditch and work its way on out. Also, my plans are, uh, I wanna fix this to where it's going to be workable and usable even through the winter months. So with funneling this water, hopefully this will all stay much drier and in the winter, we'll be able to use this. So I'm also, uh, will eventually, won't do it today, but I'm gonna dig and prep for it to get a pipe and put here and then build this up so it'll be so easy to come here and go straight across over to here and kind of stay on high ground and stay out of the mud. So anyway guys, uh, get ready to get on the excavator. Before I get started, I got a huge favor to ask. Guys, I hate to ask, but with the way YouTube is working nowadays, if you don't hit the like, the videos just stop. It's just the way the algorithms are working today. So guys, if you could do me a huge favor, if nothing else, please snap that uh, or smack that like for me. <laughs> I don't ask, so I don't even say it right. Sorry about that. But anyway, if you will, please hit the like. I sure would appreciate it. Well, guys, you know me. I'm going to jump in the excavator. Let's go get busy. All right, that is looking fantastic so far. Coming out just as I hoped it would. So uh, I've got about half of it done so far. So let me get back in the excavator and we'll finish up the other half.
Well, man, I'm excited with the results. Let me spin the camera around and I will show you. So I got all of the creek dug down and this area direct across from my shed, I think is going to be the perfect spot. So I will here very shortly, as soon as I can get to town, uh, go get a, a big, probably 24 inch corrugated pipe, uh, probably thinking 12 to 14 foot long. I will set this here, backfill over top of it and then uh, do gravel. And then up here, boy, this spot up here almost got me today. Uh, I uh, learned a lot and I've talked to, I'm so blessed the guy that I bought this from, uh, he's got years and years experience. And so I called him and told him what had happened. But as you guys know, I've said this in the last couple of my videos, this is kind of like a very swampy area. It's kind of, it's very soft. And with the reach on my boom, I thought I would be easily go, go into it to, so I could reach the other side. Cause as you can see, I flared this out. I want to catch all the water coming down and funnel it in to the ditch. And so I went over into what I knew was soft to grab and then pull as you saw. And I thought sure as the world it would be no problem for me if I started spinning with the tracks that I could use the bucket and push myself back. And boy, I learned that's a, that don't work. So I was very fortunate that I was able to drive all the way to the other side and I got out. But after talking to Dean, what I should have done, and I don't know why I didn't think of it, is I should have obviously just spun a 180 on the cab. And uh, one thing I learned today is they don't have a lot of power pushing, but they obviously have all their power pulling. And so what I should have done is when I started spinning the tracks, I should have spun a 180, put the bucket, put the teeth in the ground, lift it up, and then just pulled myself out. So lesson learned today. I mean, I've obviously, uh, I've driven an excavator some, but I'm not an exper real heavy ended experienced on this. So I'm still learning. If you noticed in the video, I'm slow. Right now I'm just focusing on being smooth. And so uh, it's a learning experience, but I'm having fun doing it. Uh, learning a whole nother skill set to be able to drive this thing and operate it. And I'm getting a lot of great projects done. So guys, remember here, Project Next One, there's always one more. Got a lot more projects coming. The, the list is endless, as you guys can see. Uh, one thing I will do is I will include here on the end screens uh, the video that I did prior to this, which was getting all of this field back in shape uh, using the bush hog and with the rotary cutter and getting all this down. This was really, uh, had gone way too long. Uh, that's a cool video as well. So hope you'll check that out. And for now, guys, I will catch you on the next one. So you guys stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon.